Hi everyone and welcome to my second trimester vlog. I am currently 16 weeks pregnant and headed to my 16 week doctor's appointment. So I think today I also have to go get some blood work done for the California genetic screening. I forgot exactly what it's called, but yeah, so I have that today and hopefully everything is going well with the baby. Um, I did get COVID, my whole family did, um, basically almost like two weeks ago and so I just hope everything is still going well with the baby. Um, I didn't really have bad symptoms and I got over it pretty quickly so hopefully no issues with baby but I know that's something that I was really scared of when I was first pregnant with Ezra and COVID was still new. Obviously now I'm um, vaccinated and boosted and so the strains don't seem to be as bad but still. So I'm going to go into that appointment and I'll check in with you guys later. Sorry for the awkward lighting, but I just got done with my blood draw. It was pretty easy, only one vial. And doctor's appointment went well. Uh, her baby's heartbeat, as you saw in the clip, and she said no issues. So yeah, everything is good, and I'm glad. And I will come back again in my, for my 20 week ultrasound, and we'll see the baby's growth then. So I'm, I'm interested to see how the baby's doing, because if you recall from my first, first pregnancy with Ezra he was measuring small through the whole time and so this is when I think I found out that he was you know in the below 10th percentile so we'll see how this baby is doing but yeah I'll see you guys at my 20 week appointment good morning everyone I am here for my 20 week ultrasound I am quite excited because I get to see the baby and it's usually a hopefully a good experience I will make sure to tell her not to know the not to tell me the gender and I thought this is when I was gonna find out if the baby is small or not if you recall, probably repeating this a million times, Ezra, they thought he was, or he was definitely measuring small. And it was also because I had a low pap A, which apparently they don't measure anymore. So I don't know if that's the case this time. Um, so nothing has indicated otherwise. And I'm curious if they'll let me know if they can measure the percentiles or if it's too early. Looking back at my notes in my videos from last time, and it seems like not until the 30 week ultrasound was I able to know the percentile of, of how Ezra is growing. So I may not know, but I am curious to see how the baby is doing and hopefully the ultrasound tech will be able to get some good shots and measure everything correctly because sometimes the baby's not moving around or sleeping that much. I also didn't have to drink that much water this time, so we'll see, but I better get going and I'll check in with you guys afterwards because I don't think I'll be able to film there, but we'll see. Just got done with my ultrasound. It took a little longer than I expected, but it's very relaxing. You're in a nice dark room, you're laying there. Um, the bad thing about not know, not wanting to know the gender is that you can't see the screen a lot of the time because you don't want to get spoiled. So I got to see the baby's head, which is really nice. And actually, I think she, I thought she printed me pictures, but now I realize that she never gave them to me. So yeah, I got to see the baby's head, which was cool. And then they did say because Ezra, my firstborn, was small, um, or measuring was always was kind of measuring small this time they scheduled me for two extra ultrasounds I think normally you only get this one anatomy scan and you don't get another one so I got two one at 28 weeks and one at 34 <clears throat> one at 28 weeks and one at 34 weeks she said at this point they can't really tell anything I mean everything looks fine she said my baby is very cute um, and usually any growth restrictions they see in the third trimester so that's why they're gonna wait a little bit uh, and she said according to my records last time they really didn't see anything that Ezra was, Ezra was measuring small until 36 weeks so yeah everything looked fine and they were able to get all the pictures and videos the baby was very active during the entire thing which I think is good <laughs> so overall great experience my technician was very nice and the doctor was nice too and I'm just gonna go home but yeah I wish I had asked now that I think about it of those printouts to compare it to how Ezra looked. I mean, the babies all kind of look the same with like a little nose and a, a head. 
Um, but yeah, overall, great experience. Good morning, everyone. I'm here for my 24 week appointment. Uh, I have a few questions mostly because I am moving, surprise, and I need to figure out how to transfer to a new doctor and I guess a different hospital and everything. I'm, I mean, I'm not luckily that attached to anyone here, so I'm not that worried, but I just need to talk about logistics and I have a few ultrasound appointments, as you recall from the last video, so I need to reschedule those, I assume, because I don't want to drive too far. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll just be a quick appointment. Um, I don't think I have any other questions, maybe just about um, how I'm measuring because I know at this point, I think they started taking my fundal height and looking at my weight more. So um, they said the ultrasound looked fine in terms of baby, but I am curious to see if they can tell other factors that baby or that I am smaller than normal. So let's go in. I didn't film the heartbeat this time, but everything looked good. I am actually weighing more than I weighed with Ezra at this point in my pregnancy. So yeah, she said fundal height looks good, weight looks good. Really no concern so far, which is good. And yeah, unfortunately I just have to find a new doctor. And um, the hospital that I will be delivering at is a little bit further from where we live. So she's just saying, you know, for the second baby, it comes fast. So just to keep that in mind, be ready. Um, and then, yeah, everything else looks good so far. And I think my next appointment will be in four weeks and I have another ultrasound at that time. And in three weeks, she said I will be taking my glucose test. So everything's chucking along, trucking along, moving along and yeah. So I'm gonna head home now, but overall feeling good. A little sad, obviously, to be moving on to something different, but Luckily, everything is within the same network and I don't have to change insurance, so it's pretty easy, hopefully. Good morning, everyone. I am currently 25 weeks pregnant and I have my glucose test today, so I'm heading to the lab so I can get my blood drawn and then drink the juice or drink the drink and then have my blood drawn again. I think I have to wait an hour in between, so I brought my laptop. And yeah, I don't know, somehow I'm slightly nervous for this one only because I feel like I have not been eating healthy at all this pregnancy, so we'll see. I mean, hopefully everything will be fine, but I ate two eggs this morning because my doctor also said I don't have to fast. I feel like I fasted for the other one, I don't remember, but hopefully I read online that eggs or meat are good to eat before your glucose test, just not like a giant bagel or something, carby. So yeah, we'll go do that and hopefully everything comes back fine, I don't have to do the two hour test or hopefully I really don't have gestational diabetes because I know that's just the whole thing I would have to deal with. It's so very cold and rainy today and yeah, not a fun day to go get your blood drawn but it's gotta be done so let's go. Hi everyone, I wanted to do my second trimester recap. I'm actually 28 weeks today, so I'm entering my third trimester. So I thought I would just look back and think about how the second trimester has been. I uh, probably said the same thing about my first trimester, but honestly it has flown by. It's gone by so quickly. I remember at one point someone said, oh, you must be six months pregnant now. And I was like, am I? And I didn't even realize I was already six months pregnant, which means I had three months left until the baby is born. I do not feel mentally ready. Now that we've moved officially, I do feel a little bit more settled because I know I don't have to worry about that anymore. And the baby's room is gonna be all ready and set up, although the baby will be sleeping in our room for the first six months anyway. And now I can start getting a lot of the stuff that I need for baby because I didn't wanna get it before we moved. So a lot of that does feel a lot better now that it's more solidified. And also now that I moved, I was able to switch my OB and I had my first appointment with her and it was pretty, it was good today. So yeah, I think it, it just really goes by quickly. I'm not counting the weeks anymore, not checking the app to see what's new with the baby. Honestly, I'm just trying to get through each day with work and taking care of Ezra. So pretty busy, but um, yeah, I'm excited for baby to come and enter into the third trimester. I know things are gonna happen more quickly. I've definitely been feeling bigger, more tired, uh, physically just less able to do things. I still get a little bit of pelvic pain, although it's not as bad as I remember with Ezra, but maybe it gets worse in the third trimester. Uh, I've been trying to do stretches. I definitely have not been working out as much as I did with Ezra, but I guess I always say holding him, chasing after him, that should be exercise in itself. 
so hopefully that's fine but yeah other than that my ultrasound went well everyone the doctors don't see any concerns with growth right now my fundal height and weight gain seem fine so yeah i'm hoping that this baby will be a little bit bigger than ezra and have no growth issues but you never know so i just wanted to close out second trimester by saying everything is going well um it flew by I honestly barely remember what happened not much happened it was pretty uneventful which is good and i'm excited for the third trimester and the last trimester until baby is born so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you in my next video bye